Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliances, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliances. Ah, uh, that's right, and what an amazing show it's been. I mean, we just had on the CEO of Ebates.com, and later on we have the founder of Ace Comic Con, where all of these incredible superheroes will be coming to Arizona, so make sure you continue to stay tuned in. And by the way, thank you for the feedback we continue to have from having Thomas Dolby on. Yes, he's the one that did the hit song, She Blinded Me With Silence. But with that, let's go ahead and let's get started. We have the Spotify Trends expert, Shannon Cook, and she can be reached at Spotify.com. Let's dive right in. All right, with that, what is what are the most streamed artists of the year? Hey there. Well, um, I'm glad you asked because we're diving into our um, end of year list at the moment and seeing who came up uh, at, at the top. And our most streamed artist of the year is a rapper named Drake. Drake is um, from Toronto, and he always does really, really well in, on streaming and on Spotify in particular. He had a big album this year called Scorpion. And when this album came out, within 10 minutes, our listeners were streaming it more than 10 million times per hour. It just went crazy. And overall for this year, Drake actually streamed 8.2 billion times. That's billion with a B. Um, but if we, we look at our female artist, our biggest female artist of the year was pop singer Ariana Grande. Uh, and if, if you pay attention to pop culture at all, you will have heard a lot about Ariana Grande this year, not just for her music, but for her dating life. Uh, and she's had multiple tracks on the charts this year, and um, at the moment everybody's falling in love with her latest song, which has only been out for a little while. It's called Thank You Next, and in it she's paying homage to all her ex-boyfriends and celebrating now being an independent woman. She, How nice for her. <laughs> oh, absolutely. She shows up all the time on my feeds. I mean, she is everywhere. What I find amazing yeah, is that... Yeah, she really is. Yeah, what I find amazing is that Spotify streaming service launched in Sweden in 2008 now has, is this right, 191 right. million users around the world whose listening preferences determine really what's popular? I mean, that's such a cool way to yeah. go about doing it. Talk to me about what, were there yeah. any throwback songs that listeners were into this year? Well, I'm glad you asked that because we talk a lot about the current songs, you know, the Drake hits and the, the Ariana Grande hits and even like Justin Bieber or uh, Ed Sheeran songs. But, yeah, some 80s songs um, rose through the ranks this year, which I think is really quite cool. I love 80s music. Uh, the song Africa by Toto, which came out in 1982, um, it sort of became a born-again hit in the last couple of years. and. Uh, or in the last year, and it was driven largely by uh, the band Weezer did a cover of that song, and the cover sort of brought fresh interest to the original version. We see that happen a lot, actually. So that was a song that a lot of people listen to, and especially our younger listeners. The song um, Take On Me by AHA, that also had a really good year. It's, it was used in a popular video game called Fortnite. And also Michael Jackson, who's always, you know, fairly popular on Spotify, his song Billie Jean had a pretty good 2018, and it's, it's streamed about 450 million times on our service. So everything, uh, you know, not everything is current. There's some good old throwback stuff peeking through. Ah, uh, that's incredible. And you're listening to me, David Kogan, host of the Alliances Hero Show. Make sure you go to alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com, the only place where entrepreneurs align because we have Shannon Cook. She is the Spotify Trends Expert. Shannon, you have a really cool job. I mean, you've been able to interview artists like Sting, Kane West, Jennifer Lopez, Alicia Keys, Yo-Yo Ma, and so much more. How in the world does someone yeah. get to be a Spotify Trends Expert? <laughs> Well, um, oh, that's a good question. Uh, well, I spent many years at CNN covering music, and I interviewed all those people that you mentioned and, and many more and produced a lot of music content for, for CNN. And then Spotify um, offered me this gig to be a spokesperson for the company and utilize my broadcast skills and also my, my knowledge of, 
of the industry and uh, bring those two things together. And it's been really, really fun. And I, I get to see what what kind of listening trends do um, resonate and are emerging with whether it's certain types of playlists that people are creating or listening to or certain genres of music that are powering ahead. It's it's a fun gig, to be sure. Now, we had uh, a number of listeners that had emailed in ahead of time, and they have these questions for okay. you. What songs do you oh, that personally... Oh, me. Yes. You, what songs do you personally listen to in order to get energized? To get energized? Well, to get energized, I listen to... Um, pretty much straight up dance pop stuff and I've been known to and when I say known to I mean by my family to dance around the kitchen a lot to songs by like Ariana Grande's One More Time is a song that I always dance around the living room to uh, Bruno Mars songs also get me kind of energized I love Pink's Pink has a great song called What About Us which I do a little shimmy dance to in the living room mostly to entertain my children um, and so, and I have to listen to songs that, um, are appropriate for my kids. So a lot of it's kind of some pretty straight up pop stuff. Does that answer the question? Absolutely. I also like, a, I also like a lot of 80s stuff too. Um, I'm from Australia and I love listening to In Excess. In Excess gets me pretty revved up actually. And Shannon, what has surprised you most about the trends taking place this year with Spotify? I think one thing that, I don't know that it has super surprised me, but it's impressed me, and that is that we're seeing this continued growth with Latin music. Uh, last year, if you remember, Despacito was this big crossover phenomenon, and it brought all this attention to Latin music. And this year, we've seen that growth continue in really nice, encouraging ways. Like the top 10 artists um, for the year uh, at that list features three songs, uh, three artists who are from the Latin world, which is really cool. Last year we only had one Latin artist. The year before, I don't think we had any. So to see Latin music power ahead and, and continue to grow, I think is a really cool thing. And, and it, but it also makes sense because we are a global company. We're in more than 70 countries around the world, and Spanish is the second most popular language around the world. Uh, interesting. Well, Shannon, since you know so much about music and everything, we've got a little less than a minute left, but I need to ask you is what secrets do you have for young fans of music, of yep. how they can make a positive impact on the world? Oh, my gosh. Young music fans making a positive impact on the world? Um, oh, my gosh. I don't know. Sharing the... Uh, just sharing the songs that they like and talking about them. What what makes these songs impactful? How does this song touch you? I think there are already there are always such great stories and emotions around music. So I think if you're a young music fan, talk about it. Share it with the world. That's right. Awesome. Well, Shannon, you've been a broadcaster seen worldwide. You bring the music news to all with Spotify, spotting the top trends for everyone. Shannon Cook, you're a hero. Check out Shannon at Spotify.com. Plus, the Alliance's Hero Show is on Spotify. So make sure you go to Spotify.com. This has been David Kogan with Alliances. And by the way, when we return, we're going to have the inventor of the jetpack at gravity.co. 